Glitches. For better or worse, they go hand in hand with gaming, whether it's the result of a rushed release, conflicting code, or simply because the developer has no idea what a human body is supposed to look like, glitches are everywhere. In an ideal world, these sort of things shouldn't exist. Oh my god, I wish this didn't exist. I, I can't unsee this. Glitches often ruin the gaming experience, and why should we have to tolerate mistakes in products that we pay for? Well, mainly because for the most part, they're absolutely hilarious. Now, we've covered such bugs and rogue programming on What Culture Gaming before, and you can click on Peter's sexy, smooth face here to check it out. But there are some glitches which rise above the norm, and instead of breaking their games, only serve to make them stick in the minds of gamers for generations. With this in mind, I'm Jules for WhatCulture.com, and here are 10 of the most infamous glitches in gaming. Number 10. Skyrim Giant Launcher The land of Skyrim is a fantastical place filled with magic and myth. Dragons roam the skies, the dead walk amongst the ruins of forgotten civilizations, and giants can launch you about 500 foot in the air with a single strike. Yes, that's right, the FIFO thumbs of Falkreath love nothing more than turning you into a human bottle rocket with a smash of their clubs, sending you into the stratosphere to explore the reaches of space. And you know what, with all the doom and gloom about the end of the world and all these po-faced warriors looking so glum, it's actually kind of a nice break, allowing you to find a moment of peace and to think amidst the clouds, and to reflect on your soon-to-be extremely over life. Number 9. Donkey Kong Ride Along have you ever been playing Donkey Kong Country on the SNES and thought to yourself, yeah, I mean, I guess riding Rambi the Rhino is cool and all, but what would be really boss is if I could ride a Diamante-studded version of Kong himself and have DK look really confused while he does it? Well, this glitch and your oddly specific request has got you covered. Equal parts bizarre and awkward, players can manipulate the game's logic using a silver barrel and some on-point timing to switch out this hunk of horn for the most fabulous ape this side of Swanky Kong. You can't really do much other than make your silverback steed do the knuckle shovel, but to be honest, the best part is just how unsure DK looks while this is going on. <laughs> he is not okay with this. Number 8. The Great White Jaws of Crisis Crisis was and still is a fabulous looking game, and the devs really went out of their way to make the island landscape feel vibrant and alive. It's very easy to get distracted by the incredible vistas and gorgeous fauna, so much so that you might even take a trip to one of the many beaches to marvel at its beauty. But that would be your first mistake, because somewhere under the crystal blue waters is a predator unlike no other, a perfect killing machine with only the thought of man sandwiches on its mind. Car Caradon, Car -car aka the Great White Shark. Luckily for us though, this beast of the deep is confined to its watery world and in no way can escape its confines to attack us on dry land. Oh my god, I was wrong! Number 7. Missing No Pokemon, there sure are a lot of these little rugger buggers to catch, with the current roster of malformed animonstrosities totaling over 700. However, there's one critter who started it all, and no, I'm not talking about Pikachu or any of the god Pokemon, but the weird glitch that occupies slot 000 in the Pokedex, missing no. If you talk to the doddery old sod who blocked you from leaving when you first fired up the game and learn how to use Pokeballs, then use a Pokemon with Surf on this junction between Cinnabar and Seafoam Island, then the player will begin to get into battles with Pokemon from the last area they visited. Great, you think to yourself, now I can catch all the harder to get creatures like those found in the Safari Zone. But every once in a while, you'll come across this Tetris block of code called Missing No. It's an easy battle for sure as the thing has less defense than a baby soft spot, but the really interesting bit comes from the fact that any item in your sixth slot has now been increased to 99, meaning that you can now farm this odd Glitchamon to your heart's content. Just uh, don't try to catch it, as it will mess with a load of the character sprites and tarnish your Hall of Fame record. Ah, Visabe Vam, I'll always remember you. Number 6. Red Dead Redemption's Manimals so, we've already had a land shark on this list, but that's not even the most deadly creature we'll see here, for that title belongs to the Manimals of Red Dead Redemption, and ye gods is this creepy. When the game first came out, venturers of the Wild West would sometimes come across strange people in the wilderness. Now, as odd as it is to find a person alone in the desert some 100 miles away from a town, the weirdest bit is when they start flapping their arms and fly away, or start hunting you down like some sort of man-cougar. Now, my history knowledge isn't exactly on point, but I'm pretty sure this shouldn't be a thing. Absolutely terrifying, absolutely hilarious. 
Number five, Duck Hunt Level Zero. Duck Hunt, the game in which you shoot animals in order to get dog senpai to notice you and then shames you with laughter should you fail. It's simple, addictive, and keeps you coming back for more to unload more lead. But be warned, for those who are looking to complete the game are destined only for destruction. Because if you do manage to best level 99, you're going to a place often whispered about in hushed tones. A place where the actions of your past come back to haunt you. I'm speaking, of course, of Duck Hell. As instead of rolling into level 100, the game instead takes you to round zero, a horrifying hoisin hellscape in which millions of ducks fly around for a few seconds before kicking you out to the title screen. And all the while, this little bastard just sits there and laughs at you. Number four, the Golden Eye Ragdoll Dance. Da 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 Number 3, Grand Theft Auto 4 and the Swing Launcher. When you look at GTA 4 against the rest of its brethren, there's a much more serious tone to its proceedings. The world is a little more drab, the cars are a little too sluggish, and there's just way, way, way too much cousin bowling for my liking. But the one thing this game has which stands head and shoulders above the rest of its family is this. A simple swing set. A simple swing set haunted by a ghost is intent on launching you across the map with a powerful display of phantom strength. Well, maybe it's not a ghost, but I tell you what, you're gonna die laughing when you see this. <laughs> God, what am I doing? But seriously though, this glitch which can be triggered inside a vehicle or on foot is possibly the most fun you can have inside a kid's playground without a future court order. And is only the second weirdest thing in the game. The first is this. Which is just terrifying. Number two, Ermac Attack. Now let's take a step back in time for a moment to the glorious heyday of the arcade machine. Imagine crowding around a cabinet witnessing a beatdown in Mortal Kombat, watching your friends smash buttons and wrestle with joysticks, all the while filling the air with expletives and the jingle of coins. Now imagine suddenly seeing amongst the blood and gore and mocap campness a new character, a ninja in red with the name Ermac. Ermac? Who the hell is that? And thus the rumor begins to grow. Some people claim to have unlocked him, others deny he's even real, and soon everyone is talking about the mysterious warrior, adding more and more bullshit as they do. Unfortunately, the real reason behind his existence is a little more boring than we'd have liked to have believed at that age. It turns out his name is actually short for Error Macro, and means that basically the arcade cabinet had glitched out while trying to load Sub-Zero or Scorpion, and that there was a zero chance of unlocking him. However, the end result is that this rumor became so popular is that the devs actually added him into the game and is now one of my personal favorites in MK10. Mmm, satisfying. And number one, Jesus Woods. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2008, an actually pretty great game about a sport I could care so little about, contained a little glitch that allowed Mr. Jesus Woods here to walk on water and even take shots on top of the surface. And that's it. I mean, I know you're probably expecting a massive glitch or one that's stupidly funny, but it's just this. A man on water playing golf. However, it's the reaction of EA, the game's publisher, which is why this glitch sits at the tippy top of this list. For when they heard about the glitch, they didn't apologize. I mean, come on, it's EA. They didn't even try to fix it. I mean, come on, it's EA. Instead, they teamed up with Tiger, that's not my wife, Woods, to film this beauty. EA, despite all the backdoor shit that they've pulled over the last few years, really made the most of this situation. And that closing line of, it's not a glitch, he's just that good, really did put the icing on what would have otherwise been an unsightly programming mistake cake. And that's our list. Got any more glitches that you think we should be bugging out over? Well, drop us a message in the comments section below. And if you want to talk to me personally about my mistakes and issues, you can do so at What Culture Gaming here and Retro J with a zero here. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then like, share, and subscribe for more. I've been JulesWhatCulture.com, and I'll see you soon.